Controversial Chinese scientist He Jianhui proposes a new gene editing research. Chinese authorities first gene edited babies that were illegal. 2019. Hong Kong CNN. He Jianhui, the Chinese scientist who sparked the global outrage in 2018 when he revealed that he had created the first gene edited children, has put forward a new proposal for modifying human embryos that he claims could help to add the aging population. He who, he who in 2019 was sentenced to three years in prison in China for illegal medical practices re-emerging last year and surprised the global scientific community when he announced on social media that he was opening the research lab in Beijing. Since that time, updates on his research post posted on his Twitter account had focused on the proposed plans to develop the gene therapy for rare disease. But on Thursday, he again courted the controversy by posting a new research proposal that experts say is reminiscent of his earlier work, which scientists broadly decried as unethical and dangerous with the potential to impact human DNA across the generations. In the suite, the one-page document, he proposed the research that would involve gene editing mouse embryos, embryos, embryos and then human fert fertilized egg shells or zygote in order to test whether a mutation confers protection against Alzheimer's disease. The aging population is of grave importance as both the socio-economic issue and the uh, end a strain on the medical system currently. There is no effective drug for Alzheimer's disease. He wrote in an apparent nod to China's growing demographic burden due to the rising proportion of elderly. Unlike the science, unlike the science that landed him in jail, the, this potential ex experiment involves the kinds of abnormal fertilized egg cell generally considered not suitable to be implanted in the woman. No human embryo would be implanted for pregnancy and the government permit and ethical approval were required before experimentation, the proposal said. It's not clear whether he would get approval for such work in China, even if the proposal he put forward were deemed to have merit and outside experts say the current proposal is not scientifically sound. Authorities in China took multiple steps to tighten rules and ethical standards affecting human gene editing in the wake of the revelations about his previ previous research. They also banned he from engaging in work related to the assisted productive technology services and place the limit on his work with human genetic resources, according to state media. But the scientist release of a new proposal involving gene editing of embryos has the scientists and the medical ethic, ethnic, ethics experts concerned and confused. The whole thing is to put it bluntly insane, said Peter Gretsch the associate professor at the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore who focus on molecular and biochemical genetics. The proposed research could be seen as a step to explore if such a method of genetic editing could be used in a viable embryo in future, according to Dredge. Apart from ethical considerations, gene editing in embryos to address the complex disease that affects people towards the end of their life and doesn't have a clear single genetic cause is highly questionable, he said. He basically wants to genetically modify the human species so that so they don't get Alzheimer's, he said. I'm really surprised that he's coming forward with this again. 
Joy Chang, founding director of the Center for Global Science and Epistemic Justice at the University of Kent in Britain, said the proposal seems to be a more of the public publicity stunt than the substantiated research agenda. However, we do need to take these public claims with the virulence, as it may nonetheless misguide par parents and their families and tint the populations not just of science in China, but global research effort in this area, she said. In response to questions from CNN, he said he was collecting feedback from scientists and the bioethics now and do not have a timeline for the study. I will make the revision to the Alzheimer's disease proposal later. I will not conduct any exp experiment until I get the government of permit and also get the approval by the International Ethics Committee with the bioethicist from USA and Europe, he told the CNN via email. I want to emphasize that this is a clinical study. No embryo will be used for pregnancy in this study. The research will be open and transparent, and all experiment research and progress will be posted on Twitter, he said. He did not address the questions whether he, on whether he was limited from conducting certain work in China. CNN also approached China's Minister of Science and Technology and the National Health Commission for comment, controversy, and response. In 2018, he or form, formerly a researcher at the South, Southern University of Science and Technology in Sanchon, claimed he had used a gene editing tool called CRISPR to modify human embryos of two gir twin girls in the hopes of protecting them from HIV. The third, a third genetically edited baby was also born from his experimentation, a quote in Sancho later said. The research sparked the peers' uproar, uproar over the ethics of using new and potentially dangerous technology in people and the risk of unintended mutations being passed on not only to the children but potentially any future offspring. It also raised the concerns about cracking, cracking open the door to a uh, potentially species changing future of a design, designer children. Uh, recent media re interviews he has indicated that he feels that he acted too quickly in conducting the research and have given sparse details on the children they, besides the indicating they were living more normal life. Genetic manipulation of human embryos, both the viable and non-viable ones, is typically tightly controlled globally and some countries ban all such research experts say, but there is a robust global debate around the allowing genome editing of human embryos to treat the serious genetic conditions or expanding research. Scientists say genome editing, including in adults, shows the promise for one day treating diseases that are currently difficult to treat or cure, like a cystic fibrosis or sickle cell disease. Chinese law does not allow the gene editing human embryos used in research to be implemented, implanted into human, humans or developed for more than 14 days. All gene editing for reproductive purposes has also long been banned. Since 2019, a broader raft of regulation of China's bioscience science field has added more legal controls and ethical standards to such research, including a major update to national bioethics guidelines earlier this year. There has also been sharp backlash against he within China's scientific community.
In March, over 200 Chinese scholars released a statement in response to his public activities, including what they said was his misleading marketing campaign over his claimed research plans on rare disease. They condemned his attitude and refusal to reflect on his criminal actions of violating ethics and regulations of gene editing and called for regulatory authorities to launch a new investigation into his alleged re-violation of scientific integrity, ethical norms, laws, and regulations. The ethical boundaries shall not be crossed, they wrote. As for the future of his research, Canadian bioethicist France Francois Bailey's of Dali Dalhousie University said numerous questions should be considered from whether he has the requisite scientific expertise to test the hypothesis to whether he can be trusted to follow the rules for research involving humans. It is possible for people to learn from their mistakes and to change their behavior. But many are concerned, however, that he, Jiang, Jiang Kui, may not have learned from his past mistake. Daily said, CNN's Martha Zhu contributed reporting.